Great. Hi everybody. Today we are going to talk about core power and what that means for you on the pickleball court. So core power builds strong sports performance on the court so you don't get injured. And that's the whole goal is not having an injured player who has to take off time from playing pickleball because nobody wants to stop playing pickleball. So I was at a class not too long ago, a fitness class, and the teacher kept saying, um, remember to engage your core or turn your core on or remember to use your core muscles. And it suddenly dawned on me that probably nobody in the class knew what the core was, knew where it was located, and knew what muscles to engage and how to engage them. So I'm gonna explain what the core is, how to make it stronger, and how to engage it. So. The first is a picture of a house in the 1994 earthquake in Los Angeles. And the question to you is, do you ever feel like this when you get up in the morning? If you equate the house with your body, would you say that the core of this house is very strong? I would say, mm, no, it's not. So. The goal is to rebuild the house or rebuild your core so you have buns and abs of steel instead of spongy buns and spongy abs. So the first thing is we're gonna talk about the abdominal muscles. The entire abdominal muscle group of which there are four abdominal muscles absolutely wrap you like packing tape on a box that we're going to be sending from point A to point B for, let's say, Christmas, and we don't want the box to get scrunched while it's in transit. So it's like playing pickleball. We want your core to be strong so you don't get scrunched while you're playing pickleball. So we're going to talk about the stomach muscles. The first muscle is the rectus abdominis, and it goes from top to bottom or from your chest to your pubic bone. And this is the crunch muscle, and everybody's always doing hundreds and hundreds of crunches. Well, basically, that muscle is if you were going to wear a Speedo to Venice Beach and show your crunch muscle at Venice Beach which I'm not sure that's going to be your ultimate goal. Also, when you're doing hundreds of crunches, it tightens and pulls you forward from here to here, and your head comes forward, and your balance is off because you're doing so many crunches, which means when you try to run backwards and you're leaning forward to run backward, you can lose your balance easily and fall over. So, rectus abdominis, a couple of crunches is fine, but not many. The transverse abdominus is the most important muscle. It wraps around your body like a cinch. So it's kind of like Scarlett O'Hara's cinch in Gone with the Wind. So if you remember her putting on the cinch and Mammy pulling on the straps of the cinch to make a really strong, narrow waist, that's what the transverse abdominus muscle is. And it's very important because it attacks attaches to the little tiny multifidus muscles in your back. And those are the ones that stabilize your spine by tightening all the way up and down your spinal cord. The next one is external obliques. Those are your pocket muscles. And they twist you forward from side to side. Those are the dinking muscles when you're leaning over. So they need to be strong to hold you up. And then your internal oblique muscles go the opposite way. They go from the center of your body out toward your hip and they bend you sideways. So those are your reaching muscles. So you've got shortening muscles, wrapping muscles, twisting muscles, and leaning muscles, all working to make your back stronger so you don't injure your back when playing pickleball. 
There's also all of these muscles work with your pelvic floor and to have a nice strong pelvic floor is also very important for stability on the pickleball court. So I'll put this away. Then there's a muscle called the psoas and it runs down your back through your legs and attaches to the big bone, the femur bone. If I were to pull on the psoas, it's the one that lifts your legs. That's the one you use to run forward or to run backward or to sit and dink the ball. And it gets very tight. And it's really important to stretch the muscle. So I'm gonna do a psoas stretch using our chair. One foot back, one foot forward. And I'm pulling my chest up and I'm trying to pull this leg slightly out of the hip socket. So I'm lifting my chest and I might even raise my arm. So it stretches all the way down and creates length in the area that you shorten when you play pickleball. The other exercise is plank, and plank is your friend. Start with your legs apart and your hands on a chair. Hold the position for a bit, maybe count of 10. And if you feel really strong, bring your feet together and lift one leg with a little pulsing movement. And that gives you buns and steel. Then you lift the other leg in the air, working the buns. From this plank position, let your stomach muscles hang out and pull your stomach muscles in. Let them hang out and pull your stomach muscles in and then keep them in. Move one hand to the center of the chair and turn and hold this position. That's working all those oblique muscles on the side of my body. I go back to the chair, put my other hand in the center, and work my obliques. Hands back to the center, feet together, work my buns, work my abs. And that one specific exercise with the variations will build buns of steel, abs of steel, and a great core power for great sports performance.